Welcome to todaystocks.com news update. I'm Natalie Stoberman and let's dive into what's been making public companies tick this week. Skylight Health Group has announced the reappointment of its co-founder, director and chief corporate officer Kash Qureshi as president. Qureshi will be stepping back into the role by replacing Mohamed Batene, who will stay on as an executive member of the board of directors. Lancor has announced its application for a new mining permit for its potential development of its Makapele gold resource. The gold exploration company has been mining in the Democratic Republic of Congo for the last 20 years and says this new permit should help further investigate the area in the Ngayu Greenstone Gold Belt. The Makapele project is 100% owned by Lancor and it's about 50 kilometers away from its Adumbi deposit. Gold Royalty out of Vancouver, British Columbia is scheduled to release its third quarter fiscal results next month. Full financial and operational results will be shared on August 15th, and the company says that it will be holding an investor webcast on the 18th. The webcast will include updates on recent assets underlying the company's royalties and will wrap up with a question and answer period with management. Anyone interested in participating in the webcast can register in the link in the description. And Puranium Energy has received government approval to transfer licenses in Namibia. The uranium exploration company can officially transfer licenses of four different properties, which will account for 88% of Puranium's most recently purchased uranium portfolio, which are now owned by the company's 85% owned Namibian subsidiaries. Thanks for watching this week's todaystocks.com news update. Now, this is not financial advice, but tune in with us on our website, todaystocks.com, to watch more weekly updates and in-depth interviews with public companies. See you next week.